Happy New Year. Good morning, everyone. Good hey. morning, everybody. Happy New Year. A lot of uh, my my best wishes to everyone. I wish health, prosperity, joy, happiness, and much more to yeah. everyone for 2020. This is a year of the perfect vision. Yeah. You have 2020 vision. Oh, yeah. That's the year. Oh. Okay. I'm not the first one doing that joke. Yeah. Well, Gaetan was, was in Canada and during that time, Charlie got sick. And all of a sudden, I just posted three little pictures and I wanted to show you guys unbelievable response from everyone. Three little pictures, and I said it was. It was. I talked like Charlie was talking, saying, "Well, uh, I'm sick, and and I don't know what's the matter. I had to take him to the vet. He's got bronchitis." But look at this, folks. Over eighty-one thousand people were reached that were our fans, mm -hmm. and one point seven, uh, one thousand seven hundred people liked it. But look at this: a thousand comments. Everybody that that loves Charlie that knows him they they commented and gee mom will take care of you everything's great well he is on the mend I'm going to show you here let's see let me see if I can show you him Boy, so Charlie. that Charlie Charlie come here by mommy come here baby come on come on come on you could do it come on sweetheart come on by mommy he he's still not feeling real good everybody but he's on the mend. He's got bronchitis. He's got um, uh, he's on cortisone, and he's also on antibiotics. But he's he's just still not not a real happy camper. But he's got his blankie, and he's he's got mom. <laughs> what more could he have? <laughs> that's, that's important. He's got mom. So today we decided that hey we don't, you people don't know about a lot of you don't know a lot of the fans don't know about charlie and the role that he played in the beginning so gaitan is going to actually interview me hi kathy yeah how are you doing today i'm doing good you I'm called good. me several years ago to get involved with the uh, the dog connection tv i would like to know how did you start this venture this program this uh, series what was your original intent there? Oh, you know, yeah, that, that, that's a really good question. The original intent goes all the way back to 2000. So I'm mm -hmm. not going to go to 2000, but I'll go with when I've decided to do to work with Facebook, which was like around 2007, 2008. <clears throat> I thought, well, you know what? dogs want to have their own opinion and or, or not dogs want to have we want to have our own opinion so maybe dogs should too so i thought well why don't we create something where a dog is uh telling his story from his point of view mm -hmm. so that's when i started putting some things together and at that time uh, my <clears throat> my husband was alive he died in 2010 and we had a dog named mandy and I thought, well, you know what? I could make her a canine community reporter. So because I'm a digital artist, I thought, well, I'll make a little hat for her and make her into a reporter, put press on it, have her be this reporter. And it was very, very cute. Would you like me to uh, show you please, a little please, bit? Please, we're curious about it. Okay. Now I'm going to go here to our Dog Connection TV website. For those of you that haven't been there, sure wish you would go. Okay, I'm going to go to um, About Us, how it started. And if you ever want to go here, please do that. But <clears throat> here was Mandy, and I was practicing working with animation 3d animation now this goes back to like 2010 2011 so it's a long time ago and i didn't do i, I did an okay job but it's improved quite a bit but this is what mandy had to say hello pet lovers my name is mandy i'm a community reporter in training for picture moment pet productions in harrison arkansas I work for my mom, Kathy Tarchione. She's kind of a pet photographer, 
but she's really more of a digital artist. She makes magic out of pictures. Can you see how she brought this picture of me to life? She uses this green screen uh, and then she puts it all, all these fancy backgrounds and props. You'd think you were really there. I've been to so many places in my mind with my mom's help. She even took a picture of my boyfriend, Gus, and made us look like a couple. It's my favorite picture of all time. Well, anyway, enough about my mom's work. I'm going to tell you about me and her. I take care of my mom. She's had a pretty rough time the last five years. She closed her business to take care of my daddy because he was really sick. Then in July of 2010, my daddy died from liver cancer. We miss him so much. But now for the good news. With a lot of help from me and my friends, my mom is back at work. Yep, she's gone to the dogs again. Did I tell you that she's this diehard animal lover? And she used to run a shelter called Save a Pet that was way back in the 70s. She's done everything from training and rescuing and fostering and just really loving hundreds of strays and abandoned dogs and cats all over the years. I'm just so proud of her. Well, she's giving back again. Now she's working with the Ozark Humane Society to give a percentage of her proceeds to save more animals. Isn't that great? You'll be seeing me around with my mom while I report what's going on in the community with my video camera and I meet new customers and tell everyone about the great work my mom does. You'll recognize me with my sunglasses, my hat, and my shirt so you know that I'm a community reporter. But you know what? Why don't you tell my mom yourself about yourself and come in and see us or call and ask for us to come and visit you. Okay, I, I stop that now because um, it just goes into the address of where I was, and that's when I lived in Harrison. So, mm -hmm. uh, so Mandy, as you see, is just mm -hmm. a real cute little Maltese. Uh, no, she wasn't a Maltese. Yeah, she was a, a, a Bichon, Bichon Fricassee mix with a the Maltese. Bichon Frise mix. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, thank you. Thank Bichon, you. Bichon, Bichon Frise mix. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So oh, it's a French dog. Uh-huh. Yes, you I love yeah. my English. My dog is French. <laughs> so then from there, I had here I had Mandy uh dressed in this cute little outfit, and we would go and we would interview mm -hmm. some of the merchants in the neighborhood, and it was very cute. And we came home one day and I let her out. We had just done a Santa Claus at Pet Mommy. And uh, she went out into the street and she got run over by a car right in front of me. Well, I don't have to tell you guys what it's like to lose a dog. I was hysterical. I went absolutely nuts over it. Uh, then after, you know, after she was gone, I thought, oh my gosh, geez, now I'm alone. I don't have, my husband had passed away. I don't have her. And I had always fostered dogs. So I thought, well, I'm going to go and foster. But also in the back of my mind, I'm thinking I've done so much work on creating canine community reporters. Mm -hmm. What should I do? What should I do? So I thought, well, I could make Mandy a canine community reporter from heaven. That's how when you ever hear me talking about Mandy, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm telling you about her. So um, I, I went to the shelter and I got I looked at Charlie. I think I've told everybody this story before, but Charlie was not such a good boy. He was he lived he was homeless and he lived on the street with a homeless guy for five years. Mm -hmm. He had terrible dreadlocks. You'll see that in a in a video that we're going to show later. And he he was like hell on wheels. So anyway I did decide to bring him home. He wasn't housebroken. He peed on everything. He wanted to run away, but he ended up being this cute, cute little little guy. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to see, do you have any other questions before I go into talking about Charlie? You're pretty good at uh, answering one question. <laughs> oh, that was loud. <laughs> Dale says Happy New Year. Uh, and you, you make the link with Charlie. And uh, I'm curious about Charlie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did I'm you gonna... train him? Did you? Uh, you say it's a. It was a rolling thunder in a house. It was a, a difficult dog to have. Yes. Yes. You went through uh, a process of training, formal yes. training with him. No, I I did it myself. Oh, you did it yourself. But yeah, I did you it have myself. Skill with dog, obviously. Well, I I want to say that I do. I've been told in the past that I'm like the Mother Teresa of animals. I, I just I get them. I get dogs. I get where they're coming from. I get what they're talking about, what they're thinking. I, I, um, my heart goes out to them, and I feel I can communicate with them. I've been pretty lucky at it. Let's Somewhat put it that way. of a dog whisperer. What? Somewhat of a dog whisperer. Yeah. Here's what Charlie looked like. Oh my God. <laughs> when I got him. <laughs> oh my God. So. Anyway, what we did is um, we created the first video so that people could know about Charlie. But at that time, it wasn't called the Dog Connection TV. It was called WCCR, which was Worldwide Canine Community Reporters. Now it's the Dog Connection TV. So when you see WCCR in this video, you'll, you'll, you'll understand. So now we're going to show this so that you can see this video of Charlie. This is a WCCR.TV special presentation. Greatness is something you're born with. Success is something you achieve after many years of trials and errors. Such is the case with lead WCCR.TV anchor, Charlie Tarchioni. Tough, but with a heart of gold. Charlie brings his street smarts to the <laughs> WCCR.TV team to help others learn that there is more to life than the streets. And while Charlie doesn't dwell on the past, he is keeping it real as he moves on with his new mission in life. Yeah, it was tough coming up, but that's the past. I got a real home now, and a mom that loves me. She understands me and nurtures me. And although it was rough out there on the streets, I want to let my fellow canine brothers and sisters know that there is hope. And that's what I do here at WCCI.TV. I spread the good news of hope amazing. happen for them, too. This world ain't such a bad place, so long as you're willing to teach your humans how to act. But I gotta admit, sometimes it's a bit trying when you have to deal with some of these new neighbors I got. How are you doing, Chica? Pardon me for a moment. Excuse me? What seems to be your problem? Could you be any more rude? Charlie Tarkioni. Tough, smart, and compassionate. Another reason why WCCR.TV is the place to trust for straightforward, worldwide canine community reporting. Are you like this? It's not your tree. It's Charlie's tree. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, what? Some dogs. The nerve of some dogs. <laughs> was that cute or what? Uh, cute, yes. I put that under the cute list. It's what's yeah. funny. <laughs> it's the transformation between the first the per first picture we saw of Charlie and the video. What happened there? How, how the transformation happened? The picture was taken where? In the video? At the, the shelter? At, at the shelter, yeah. Okay. And, and at the shelter, they didn't want me to adopt him because they thought he was very unruly and he hadn't been checked out. And plus, he was he was not a real good kid. But I like the bad boys. I am sorry to say that, but I do. I like the dogs that nobody wants the... Oh. You like the bad boy? Your wrong choice. I like the bad boy? The wrong choice. Uh, you misjudged me. So... Um, uh, when he had all these dreadlocks in that, and when I decided I was going to foster him, then uh, they decided they would have him groomed. So I went and had him groomed, and I brought him home. Now, they had to shave him all the way down, except for around his face. His face was still in pretty good shape, but everything else was all completely shaved. And he was actually pretty good, but he was a biter. 
no matter who he came in contact with, you'd look at him and he'd... <laughs> I mean, so, human. And, and he didn't like men, didn't like men at all. So, which I don't blame, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just for your information, Katy is in Arizona. I'm in Naperville. I'm safe. Thanks, God. Yeah. Carry on, please, Katy. So he comes in the house and he goes into all the waste baskets. Then I had a chicken up on the counter and I had like a, a sofa that he could jump on the sofa and then jump on the countertop. And that's what he did. And he knocked the chicken off. And then the next thing he know I know is that the chicken is on the floor and he's eating that. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching him. I'm thinking, does he really realize that I'm watching him? So all I had to do was say no. And it was like, he looked at me like, you couldn't possibly be talking to me. Oh, yes. You, are. you know, like, what? What? No, Charlie, no. So <clears throat> I had the door open and I let the door, uh, I let it, uh, he went out the door and he booked on me. And I thought, there's no way in hell that I'm going to be going after him. I'm not going to be chasing after him. I don't, I'm not going to do that. So I sat on my patio. And about an hour later, he comes trotting up and he jumps up on the, the um, swing with me. And he puts his head on my lap like nothing happened. And I thought, you know, I, this is how I'm going to train him. It's going to be very cause and effect, very easy. Mm -hmm. And he was very good to help train with with um, my my oxygen. Mm -hmm. And he had instinctive qualities, Gaetan, where if I couldn't breathe, he was on my chest at night. And he, he really helped a lot. But he got very annoying because he would then go and pick up my, my oxygen um, mask. Uh, not the mask, the, um, I forget what you call it. Well, anyway, he would go. And yeah. 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 So we started then having a lot of, I'm going to show you this now. We started having a lot of canine community reporters that uh, we, we sent out to people. And, oh, wait, nope, not there that we we sent out to people and said do you want your dog to be a canine community reporter now of course i these are all they, mm -hmm. they really are the canine reporters that we yeah. have mm -hmm. we still have them i just put little hats on them and <laughs> little outfits on them this one in the middle here this is mandy now that's her in heaven mm -hmm. <laughs> This is Rosary's dog here, Rosary Bavilla. That's Oliver. And of course, there's Charlie with his WCCR. Anyway, here's here he also is as a, as a cook. But we created an opportunity for other dogs to start putting in the news in their community. So before you know it, we had a lot of dogs that participated. And... Here they are, here. They participated, become certified. And here's what they got. They got an official press pass. <laughs> <laughs> so that they could go anywhere and get the news. Wow. Uh, we also encourage them to get their driver's license too. So these are all of them. Mm -hmm. And uh now, I think we're at a point, Gaetan, where, oh, the reason that I stopped is because it really got to be too much work for me. I was only a one-man show, and all the people that were coming in with all of their uh, stories, mm -hmm. handling that, along yeah. with all social media, I just got so overwhelmed I couldn't do it all. But you, I need think, a, you need a staff to work with you. Yeah. Some so associate I, producer, some uh, production uh, secretary, some people helping you out there. Right. So and that here, can be revived. 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 Exactly. Well, that's what I that's what I thought that that's what we'd be doing now, don't you think, Eitan? Mm -hmm. Just bringing canine community reporters back. Yes. Uh, I know Rico would make a great one. <laughs> yes. Well, we're talking about having a, a new show. Okay, we keep doing the show we're doing. Right. That's for sure. That's our flagship. But 
out of these IDO you have, uh, the Doug Reporter, that would become like another show on Facebook uh, as part of what we're doing today. So there would be a st we are looking to build a staff, have resources, and have these reported uh, reportage done by Doug on another page of Facebook. But that would be associated with the Doug Connect show, show and the, the the Good Doug Day show together. So right. that's in the making for the coming month. We don't we don't want to give it a, a time or a date yet. But it's in the making. We're working on that. Right, right. That's a plan for 2020, 2020, the year of perfect vision. At the yeah. end of the year, no glasses. Yeah. Why not? Exactly. So so, so then going on with, with Charlie, we did our first show with him. Won't show you the first part of the show, but I'll show you the end part of the show. And this was a real big hit. Now, this was a number of years ago. Uh, before we stop the canine community reporters, but we'd like your opinion, folks, whether you'd like to see the animated mm -hmm. uh, Charlie, animated dogs, animated community reporters come back. And I'm gonna share this with you now. From this point. I heard my master tell someone that 50,000 people saw it already. Whoops. What happened? So the first thing is, let me warn you that this is not a happy story. I had my paws over my head watching it. So here's what happened. make mistakes and that probably the owner had more important things to think about than letting my friend go and do his business. I understand. So because she saw the error of her ways and was so remorseful that she was willing to post what happened on her Facebook page, well, then I give two paws up. The more people are willing to share their silly moments, the better we all are. Listen, you're just human. Next time, just remember, if you're going in an elevator, whether it's a leash on a, your pet or a child's dress, make sure you get them all the way in before you close the door. Also, it might be a good idea to ask the elevator owner to post a wake-up call sign telling people about the problem. Well, yeah. Oh my goodness, what did you think, huh, folks? Was that... <laughs> we don't have to watch that part. <laughs> uh, why? I, I understand, okay. It's fine. Oh, oh, well, that was when I used to wear oxygen, and that was that was years ago. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so now, not really sure. Nobody's really commenting. Is is this something that you'd like to see, you guys, with uh, with the animation in the future? I don't know. We're on the second of the of January. January first was yesterday. Big celebration. Maybe people are not ready yet. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, the comment come as the uh, the show make its way to the uh, the social media universe, and uh, a week later, you have like four hundred thousand people uh, interacting with that. So, right, right. A good start to Charlie. Yeah, yeah, that's my niece. She's mm -hmm. going to watch it later. Okay. So anyway, um, the the new seasons that we have coming up are going to be, and I, I don't want to say going to be, they are. They are very, very robust. We've got a lot of uh, new people that are coming on. Now, mm -hmm. we, did a, we did a post 
about well, about dogs loving us, mm -hmm. and it was from a Dr. Clive Wynn. Yep. <clears throat> this post got over half a million people respond or or looking at it, and we really decided that we wanted to reach out to him. Well, Dr. Wynn is going to be on the show next Thursday. Excellent. So we're going to be able to to do that with them. Oh, wait here. This is great. Yay. That's what we want to hear, Dennis. Yeah. The animation was terrific. And that's a while ago. Wait until you see the new animation. Right. That's what we want to know you guys, if you, if you want it or not. Yes. So, so, technology has improved. Uh, Katie did develop a, a skill. Uh, the new animation, the first, between the first uh, with Mindy um, and the second with uh, Charlie, you saw the improve men in the animation, the, the motion of the lips was better, the eyes were moving also. So all of that is getting better and better. And uh, in the upcoming productions would be even better. Right, right. This is something, a sidebar coming for um, the Doug Connection TV show. And that would be the Doug, uh, the Canyon Community Reporter coming up as a separate production on Facebook from us. Right. To you. Right. Yeah. Okay. So now in the future, you've got some fun things to tell the folks about what we're going to, you're going to be doing in the next couple of weeks. I would, yes, I, I already said that I've been approved to follow the training for dog from day one to eight weeks later. And it starts next week. The I will be there next week for the filming. So a week later, we'll have the first uh, documentary about this um training for dog i attend a class in december and it was like six different dog different size different breed of dog with their honor and uh the training was quite fascinating it was like a big beginning class but uh we'll learn a lot in the process and we'll do like a 10 minute per week documentary and after eight weeks we'll have a dog fully trained and receive a certificate of a good citizen dog, something like that. Great. Up. So Great. this is scheduled starting next week. That will run for two months. And then we are also developing more of service dog content. When we start a process, the project, there was 20 topic for the first two season. We cover about five. There's 15 more to go. And since we start uh, the show, we look at different uh, organizations like ADA uh, from the health department, the uh, adaptive, this uh, act of the, uh, okay, ADA, it's known as ADA, and the list, something like 34, 30 plus condition where a service dog is required. And that's add to our own list mm -hmm. of service dog. So we're right now in the range of 24 to 25 topic for service dog to be developed. And I'm working on that. And this year, it's our prayer and wish that we will go from a crew of two to a, a, a staff, a full staff. Yay. And then we'll have a full production and then we'll have more resources. Yes, as she said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to add that in there. Yes. I, I get so excited over it. She will stop sharing Charlie's meal. <laughs> she will have her own food. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> I have to fight him for the food. You know, speaking of that, I did a little video to let you guys see what Charlie is like with me today. So uh, maybe we should just share that now, huh? Yep. Hang on a appropriate. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope. Yes. This. I have to. Let's pray to God you know of technology. Drill. You know the drill. Okay. I'm going to do a full screen on this one. Yep. Okay.
Very nice. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> it's a transformation from the day one to the last. Oh, yeah. Picture. Yeah. Yeah. That's why so I it's, it's taking care of your health also. Apnea yeah. and things like that. Yeah. That's yeah. very good. Oh, so is your companion is uh, keep an eye on you, make sure everything is fine. You know, if, if uh, Dale is on Dale, is Charlie a good buddy? I know that Dale took care of him while I was gone. Mm -hmm. uh, for uh, to visit my brother and sister-in-law in California, and uh, he bought him a bed. He got him a nice blankie. He just took care of him. Mm -hmm. and, and now that Charlie's sick, everybody was all concerned. So getting back to that now, you know, folks, when when your dog gets ill, there he is. There's my boy. When your dog gets ill, don't you don't you think that you act differently too? Because I had. I had things that I had to do and I canceled them because I didn't want to leave him alone. Mm -hmm. It was like, they're, they're your children. You definitely feel it. So anyway, that's it. That's today's show. Thank you it was so a much. Good show. So we want you to know about Charlie and Mandy and all the other dogs that played an important part in the Dog Connection TV development. And mm -hmm. actually it's been going since, um, well, we've been incorporated since 2012. Uh, but the vision was there in 2000. So we're talking 20 years almost. Yes. I must yeah. admit when you contacted me and talked to me about dog reporter and dog for television and this and that, I was like. Mm. Is she nuts? Is she Fruit Loops or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I kept an open mind sort of. Yeah. And then you sent me a video and I saw the video and said, got it. I'll use, yep. I repeat myself, I use the example of service dog to show human how to have compassion for other human. Yep. And that's why I'm here with yep. you today and that's with the right. audience. Thank you for the member of the uh, audience, the people watching the show. Thank you for your support. Um, we're planning to have some sponsorship to help us with producing these things because it's all a expense all of out of pocket expenses and she cannot kathy cannot go on by herself i cannot go on by myself uh yeah we need help folks this is we a tv help. show uh, you look at tv show on animal planet and you look at the credit at the, at the end and you see there's about 40 people working on each show we're two so we like to have like a little crew working with us and to do that we need to have sponsor so if you see a logo of a sponsor don't be upset it's because that's help us to get the content for you uh, in the best possible condition. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your friendship. Thank you for everything, all your comments. And uh, thank you, Kathy. Did a great job after so many years of effort. 
I think we're moving to the next phase. Oh yeah, we sure are. And and thanks to all of you loyal, loyal fans who have been with us through thick or thin. And we've had a roller coaster of a ride over yeah. the year. But and the past back. year too, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. We have yeah. a well of share of up and down. So yeah. we're back. It's season second season. This this is a seven show of the yeah. season second second season. Uh, and we're bound to do a lot of more show. And if somebody says there's no content for a dog show, I'm sorry. I have a long list. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've yeah, always got long content. List. Yeah. Longer than the screen list. So okay. enjoy yourself. Be happy. Okay. The purpose of li in life, see, the joy in life is to be happy. Right. And the so purpose is happy. to help others. Yes. There's no joy without helping others. Yeah. Nobody okay. can be happy if they live just for themselves by themselves for themselves that's yep. pretty uh, and if you have sad, nothing to sad. do if you're looking for something to do go to a shelter right. you can do that take okay. a dog for a walk pet it bring it home for dinner whatever there's a lot of opportunity to help out there yeah call your sister your brother call your mom call your uncle your niece your nephew ask them how they're feeling if they need something yeah okay okay Thank everyone you. Bye-bye. Well. See you soon. Thank bye. you. Bye-bye.